and watch the show live, you would want to do that at alancoxer.com. Thank you to uh, Jonathan Herbshank for helping out. I feel like we haven't, I know we were gone for a few days, uh, but I feel like uh, we haven't, um, <clears throat> I haven't acknowledged the people in some time who help us in our video department. Humble as it may be, uh, we still have... Um, well, who'd you miss? Hardworking and dedicated. I don't know that I did. It just feels like perhaps I did. And keep in mind, now that uh, July is underway, you can use the promo code FIREWORK uh, for 20% off over at CLE Clothing Company. Whatever you want to get from them, whether it's retro buzzer merch or anything else with the word Cleveland on it, you can get it at CLE Clothing Company. You want to go in the store and look around? You know, maybe you're more a tactile shopper. You want to get it in your dirty little mitts. Um, make sure not too dirty, though. They've got inventory they've got to protect. But you can use the promo code FIREWORK and uh, get 20% off uh, whatever you want. I was uh, flipping through, and Mary alluded to it at the top of the show, but I was flipping through your Instagram story, and there was a, a picture of it looked like a yard full of Roman candles, and I was like, well, that can't. That must be some other... Uh, that's clearly got to be somebody else's setup. That couldn't be something. Oh, I didn't do that. She was taking a photo of right there. But no. you were right there when they were. So we went to a friend's brother's house. I guess they do a huge Fourth of July uh, cookout every year. So we went. It was fun, and you know, kids are playing in the pool, and we're all doing great. And he's like, "Dude, he puts on this amazing fireworks show." And so I like went and was watching them set it all up, and it was like a twenty-five minute show. Like they put a lot of time and effort into this. And what made What's the fascination with people doing this themselves I in the backyard? Do not it's know. It's expensive. The liability is through the goddamn roof. My I don't dude, get it. My boyfriend was like, "It's incredible." He was hyping it up. I've been to this so many years. Well, I'm sure love it, it was, but that's it. if everything goes right. And everything did go right. But yeah. my thing was, he was like, "You don't, you don't really seem super impressed." I was like, "This, listen, I know I don't really respect money the same way a lot of people do. This is such a waste of money to me mm -hmm. to spend thousands of dollars on something." to do that you can see a better version of for free that blows my mind that i, I cannot some people I are cannot really into it like it. they want to be fireworks guy they do. this guy he had detonators. The neighbors. yeah he had detonators well that's what you want the neighbors coming over they do they show they that's have, what i'm saying who wants that my, no the guy across the street started his fireworks show before ours so we had to wait for his to be over <laughs> <Yeah>. exactly <laughs> oh, they, they have dibs. my this, parents live in like they live in front of a very wealthy like cul-de-sac or like you know development development and they all had a whole bunch of crazy fireworks show too so like but they're in the sticks yeah this was like at columbia get... station yeah. oh this it was, was. In, in the sticks oh, too okay. yeah. yeah i imagine most of these are situations are in the yeah. sticks but yeah i'm also at the point where like i just i don't need i haven't been impressed by fireworks have we all seen time. the door have we all seen the doorbell cam video of, of the, the family in the front car yes yes Wait, they, put, they put a baby in front. Oh, my God. There was like I'm a like, three-year-old hanging out. It was Yes. Yeah. And that's what I was worried was going to happen. He's like, no, he does it every year. And then I go back, and I'm like filming it, and there is a 17-year-old doing the wiring. And I'm like, not to say you're not great at what you do. Mm -hmm. You could have been doing this since you were 12. I don't know. Maybe you have five years no experience way. under your belt. I'm not, I wouldn't be worried about the age. I mean, the frequency with which grown-ass men blow their hands off. It's got nothing I to mean. do with how old you are doing the wiring. There's plenty I, of grown it, men that <laughs> clearly can't do the wiring either. But. It's not the age, Mary. What is the ethnicity? <laughs> they, white. What do you think? <laughs> I'm just making sure. Just making sure. Yeah, it was... Um, it was an interesting cookout, to say the least. But it was good. I mean, it was it was what it was. And I had fun. I was glad to be there. We had good camaraderie and fun. But the the, the amount of money that he spent on those fireworks, to me, I, I will never understand Three to that. five grand? That yeah. I, more than that. He spent thousands of dollars on this. And I was like, What's this firework? Bro. What's this, like, ring camera thing? I haven't seen this. Oh, oh I tweeted it out. You can oh, yeah. Okay, all right. There we go. Um, but it's, uh, yeah... See, and I was never like a huge fireworks guy. I mean, they're fun, but if they're you've fine. seen them, you've seen them, right? You have a it's for the kid. kids, right. Yeah, but right. also, like, because Zambelli Fireworks is in Pittsburgh, and I lived in Pittsburgh for many years, they would take any opportunity whatsoever to shoot off fireworks. Right. So it wasn't just at Steeler Games or Buckos Games or whatever. It was like... You know, the mayor's grandson graduated junior Fire, high. There's like a fireworks yeah. <laughs> display. Holy cow. We're, so my boyfriend's daughter is going through a phase um, after she burned her foot. And then earlier in the year, she choked down a piece of hard candy. So yeah. she's got a lot of anxiety right now. How's the foot? Her foot's healing. It's healing well. She can put full weight on it and everything like that. But it is still discolored. <laughs> and there are still parts of it that are peeling. Yeah. But she Mary's is, boyfriend's daughter, for people who aren't with us before the break, Mary's boyfriend's daughter 
stepped on a hot coal that was uh, poorly buried in the in the right. beach sand. She got second yep. degree burns on her foot. Yep. So she, now she's she's having a lot of anxiety and a lot of freakouts about things that are not haven't happened yet. Mm-hmm. So halfway through the fireworks show, she started to lose her mind. She was so because t- we are close. Like this guy's shooting him off in the backyard. You know, what I mean, there's firework pieces falling around us. Yeah, that's no fun. And she was she started flipping out. And she's like, I gotta go. We have to go inside. I want to watch from inside. So I had to take her into the kitchen and we watched from the window because she was afraid that a firework piece was gonna fall on her and burn her. But you also didn't have to step on a hot coal to feel that way. Well, I mean, no, like but a, like the burning. It's not she's gonna a, help. Yeah, she's yeah. afraid that she's gonna get burnt again. So she right. flipped out about that. And then we were doing sparklers and. She's freaking out, screaming at the top of her lungs about the sparkler. So I was yeah. like, okay. And I put the sparkler right on my hand. I said, look, it doesn't hurt. It's going to be fine. So then she didn't want to do the sparkler. So I took the sparklers away. And then she cried even harder because all the other kids had sparklers and she mm-hmm. didn't have one. She's got so PTSD. She does. I feel so bad for her because she's just so afraid of anything that could possibly burn her now. Yeah. That 4th of July was not the easiest holiday not fun. to try it's to celebrate. It's a very flammable holiday. It really is. Very incendiary. Yes. Huh. I felt very I felt very bad for her. Last couple of years we've seen the fireworks cuz we'll go to a Lake Erie Crushers game. We'll go yeah. with some friends, we'll get a couple of tables, they do the fireworks. It's perfect, right? Get some food, you get some drinks, get some fireworks, you know. That's a good time. Mm-hmm. But like the back, I, I can't believe how many I mean, people and it's always looks like uh, your friends aside the videos, AC, it always looks like people who don't have two nickels to rub together. No, and they're they spending have like a nice thousands house. Thousands yeah. of, I mean, like I said, the videos I see, there are looks like other people. people yeah. They're mm-hmm. spending this is like. This their thing. This is what they spend their money man. on, you know? My brother had, he had a house in Lorraine on the beach. So all of his neighbors were all along the coast. And my brother is now that guy where he goes and sets up fireworks along the shoreline and lights them off. And he has the entire neighborhood going. After it's done, I'm like, where's this applause coming from? People up pulling up on their boats like, hey, man, badass. I'm like, wow. Well, yeah, listen, I wasn't a pyro as a kid, but plenty of kids are. And some of those people grow up. I'm too scared. And it's a real point of pride that they're like the fireworks guy. I guess know? that's that's the thing that it had. It, and the guy whose house we went to, I guess, has been doing it for years. And it, I'm, I, it was a good show as far as like backyard fireworks yeah. shows go. It was great. But it but it's, it's only just, fun if you are wi- if you have kids with right. you. And our kid a bunch was of adults, losing her mind. So right, now we're watching fun. it from inside the house. You right. know what I mean? Like Fireworks, that's not something you can just like, when you buy them, you have to use them that year, right? You can't just let them sit in your garage. Like I don't know. It's not it's not recommended that you do that. Every time I mention that I've got this giant thing in my basement, people are like, "You got to get the hell, get that out of there." Because it's like it's dynamite. Gonna <laughs> <here>. <laughs> well, no, not going to explode, but they're like it can leach, you know, uh, chemicals. chemicals or something. Yeah. So I always wondered that if people like had you know old fireworks in their garage from a, a years past of Fourth of July. And like, what do they do? Are you do they have an expiration date on well, that? Well, most people aren't like, well, let's save some for later. Right? Yeah, when it they comes do to it fireworks, all. Fireworks. They're like, let's blow all these. Well, off. I mean, there's no point in buying them yeah. if you're not going to set them off. But 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 the the that video of yours in particular that you showed, I was like, oh my. god. It was god. a lot. I was like, damn, this is. I mean, good for you. If this is your thing, and this is, again, like I said, I'm not going to tell anyone how to spend their money. It, obviously, right. but it doesn't Don't make just doesn't way. make sense to me at all. It's wild. Yeah. Because then you see videos like the one that we've been passing around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that where the one family's in the front I yard. I watched it. That's great. Yeah, I wow. was waiting for that car to explode. Yeah. I was too. Was that great. was nuts. That's what I mean. And that, see, we weren't far enough back. He, if you're going to do it, he did it right. He put them. He has a real big backyard out in Columbia Station. Yes. So he put the fireworks all the way at the back of the yard. There aren't detonator, so he's far enough away. He's not standing there with a, a lighter. Right. So he mm. presses the button and then they shoot off. Presses it's, the button. And it then sounds they shoot like off. he's got the pro equipment. He did. I mean, he yeah. absolutely did. Right. Yeah. A detonator. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's what I mean. When the when the 17 year old kid was doing the wiring, he might have even been 16. I think he was either a sophomore or a junior. And he's like putting all the stuff together. I'm well, like, the wiring's this not hard. So <laughs> yeah, well, no, that's good. It's the people who like yeah, light something. To the people working on our studios. <laughs> it's it's the people uh, who you know in their backyard who light something in a coffee can and it doesn't go off, so they put their face in there mm-hmm. to see what happened. Oh God! They bl- light you know. a piece of paper. Back on up, fire. Terry. Back up, Terry. Yeah. The no, classic. one of the one of the first stories of. Uh, Fourth of July with some dude in Florida blew his whole hand off. It's hmm. terrifying. Like his friends are driving his hand to the emergency well, room, put it on and ice. he's in the back seat. Can he reattach that once? You have long? to put it on ice. If you can, I mean, if you can put it on ice and get it there they, before the skin and muscle start to die, yeah. Some also has to be. They, they were not able to reattach hand. his hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. if it gets blown off and it's just 
all crumbs. Yeah, that's not going to work. Little it looks like crumbs. an episode of The Boys. Oh, palm crumbs. You ain't putting it back together. <laughs> Alan, I shoot professionally for American Fireworks. I have zero interest in putting up a display at my house because pro shows are grueling work. Well, that's what I think. I think that that some people really enjoy putting it together Mm -hmm. because it's done so quickly. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, I mean, you know. It was was fun. I was glad to be there. It was a a fun uh, cookout, and we played cornhole, and we had a great time playing in the pool. But, yeah, it was one of those things where I'm like... Good for you, man. Now, did you play pool cornhole? That's a lot of fun. Yes, we yeah. did. Mm-hmm. You, you dive into the bag. The... Oh. Yeah. What? I thought you meant pool, like shooting pool, like throwing Not the billiards. Billiards, <laughs> Mary. Bags. Cornhole, baby. In the pool. It's all fun and games, and then a forest fire starts. Yeah, well, you see people, you know, you see the memes going here. around of like people in California. I didn't know they're they were like, legal. We don't know what happened. They're we're not just shooting some fireworks off. Well, Ohio changed the law to where some consumer grade fireworks are now legal. But so in that places like California where they're droughts, they probably can't, right? I, listen, they're, not they're all to. kinds right. of they're they're fully illegal in the state of Massachusetts, but you don't think people are shooting fireworks off in Boston? It's not like the cops are gonna run out and pick people up all night on firework misdemeanors. But in Boston it doesn't cause like a uh, Forest fire. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm saying they're illegal in the state of Massachusetts because laws in the Commonwealths are weird. So, like, Ohio, Vermont, Illinois, and Massachusetts have the strictest fireworks laws. So weird. But they, well, I mean, um, but uh, I'm glad it's over. Because it's always the week of the 4th. It's, it's a, never like, week. my dog's, vi- I'm like doubling up my dog's, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, Prozac all week. She's vibrating. Yeah, that's where I just was. People I was like just... across, you know, in our neighborhood, like shooting off massive Roman candles all week. M80s or I was whatever. just sitting on the couch with my dog laying on my belly, like that was it, and that was fine by me. Because yeah, like I don't have little kids anymore, so yeah. there's no one to, you know, my girlfriend went up on the roof and watched, but I was like, I don't need to go up there. Yeah, we went to my um, sisters and I went to the one in Berea, the Grindstone Festival. And it was, uh, you know how the bunch Grindstone of, Festival. Yeah. Okay. Um. So they do. They've done it every every Fourth of July. It used to be at the fairgrounds, but then they moved it to Co Lake and Berea, which is where we did my dad's thing. Yep. So same same little park. Um, it was a shrimp show. There were so many people there. I believe it. Mm-hmm. And then there was one food stand for each thing. So there was <laughs> one French fry stand, one lemonade stand, one gyro stand. Like so, the lines. It took you over an hour to get through the line to get a French fry thing. And then there was like inflatables, but they were free inflatables. All the kids could play on them. But again, you're waiting in line for like an hour and a half before these kids can get through onto this inflatable. And the fact that so many, the lines are so long because obviously so many people think that's going to be a fun time. It's not. I don't get it. My nieces, my niece and nephew, they're 10 and 9. They waited over an hour for this inflatable. It's a thing that you literally climb up and jump off. It's called a free fall. So you climb up, there's no slide, there's no like action there's no ninja you just jump off and they jumped <laughs> off and i go was it worth it and in unison both of them go no <laughs> just like that was like of course i not. told you that like but my long uh, on setup short on delivery yeah it was um not relaxing the line for the bathroom was an hour so it's like we get there at 7 30 and by the time you get food and go pee the fireworks are starting see from that know? perspective i get why people would want to do something in their backyard because mm-hmm. driving and parking mm-hmm. oh, and walking a and then yeah. sitting and then leaving and it'll you know I don't know what happened. I was watching the fireworks from like my window, like literally peeking through the blinds. I'm like, oh, that looks pretty looking over houses. And then all of a sudden I heard a big bang. I was like, oh, that's a big one. There was a huge, like a tree sized branch fell onto the street and like blocked the street off. So then I like. Uh, Didn't you have a tree earlier this year? These are all old trees. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on, but thank God my car wasn't underneath it because it blocked off the entire street. And so I went to the bathroom, I come out, and then there's all these lights. I'm like, oh, it must have fell on someone, or someone must have caused it with, like, I'm thinking like a firework or an explosion or something. I don't know. Um, But there's all these cops out there. I'm like, imagine you getting a call that's not firework related. Like, oh, a tree fell, or a a branch fell onto the street, and cars can't get through now. Like, oh, thank God. Thank God. It's not a gruesome scene. Did anyone die? No, I think everyone's okay. (laughs) Oh, okay, I'll be right over there. Well, that's no fun. I I want to see a guy with his hands blown off. We're at the, I do like the potluck, you know, everybody brings a dish and you can all, all kind of share. I love that. And over that course, I forgot how much I love a classic 
sugar cookie. Just a sugar cookie with a little crystallized sugar mm-hmm. on top. I ate like seven of them, dude. I couldn't stop. I've been on this diet for a few weeks and I was like, 4th of July doesn't count. I'm going to eat whatever I want. <laughs> it doesn't count. And I'm telling you, I will go as far as to say sugar cookie might be in my top three. I Along know. with one. what else? Chocolate mm, chip? I love a peanut butter cookie too. Yeah. Like the classic with just like the three little fork yeah. marks on I, it. I, I had one over the weekend because I thought it was a chocolate chip cookie and it was... A peanut butter cookie? Yeah, it was okay, but it was far less appealing than... And I love, um, there's a place in Berea called Dick's Bakery that does half-dipped chocolate chip cookies. So it's a chocolate chip cookie that they dip into chocolate. It's really good. That might be my favorite cookie. But just a classic uh-huh. sugar cookie. She's got these, uh, she's like a cookie elitist over what, here. What's your, well, I mean, cookies are great no matter what, but. Uh, there's a lot of bad cookies out there. What kind of cookie do you like? I mean, Samoa, actually. Samoa tops all of them. That's my the favorite Girl cookie. The Girl Scout cookie. Yeah. You give me like a chocolate chip cookie. You like a classic? I'm just fine. Nice. Yes, that's right. Soft chocolate chip cookie. I like a soft one. Yeah. Wait, soft like packaged or soft like cooked? Because the packaged, like chewy, soft cookies. You want them? Trash. You want the big frisbee size ones that flop when you pick them up? No, they no, like no. Curl. <laughs> I want it to be just like a, a homemade chocolate yeah. chip cookie, but not, I don't want it to crumble when you bite into it. Yeah. I want it to be soft. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. And I, I do like a peanut butter cookie too, and then. A good oatmeal raisin. Mm-hmm. In my old age, I've come to enjoy <laughs> a good oatmeal raisin because I'm like, this isn't too sweet. Is that an old guy I cookie? Feel, I don't know. An oatmeal raisin? I don't think you see a lot of kids like yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> oatmeal raisin cookies. Huh. It's the only time I really am pro raisins. Like yeah, maybe raisins. raisins have fallen out of favor with kids, or they're not exposed to them. Do kids have raisin allergies, grape allergies, anything like that? No, I because a lot of them have peanut allergies, obviously, and they're shoving peanut into every goddamn thing, peanut cookies and other things. Wait, so you're peanut saying so butter? Peanut like butter? If, if they're making getting, butter out of peanuts. If you're getting Chips Ahoy, you don't want the chewy kind. The chewy kind, I think, are absolute garbage. Oh, the, I would prefer the, those over the crunchy no, ones. No, if I'm getting Chips Ahoy, I'd rather have the crunchy one. But uh, homemade. If they can get that magical combination where the rim of the cookie, the edge of the cookie is a little bit crispy, but somehow still soft in the middle. Yeah, that's Mary that, loves yeah. a crispy rim. She mm-hmm. said it so many times here on the show. Baked goods. Behavior. Bad. Cookie crimes. She's stealing them if she has to. I did. Crispy I rims. Could not stop eating those sugar cookies. My boy. Looks like somebody's luck just came up. Shortbread. Cookie crimes. <laughs> my boyfriend's Your boyfriend watching what? me. He's watching me like, Mayor, get it together. What are you doing? It's like, I haven't had dessert in two weeks. Let me eat these. I, I well, was you said nuts. 4th of July doesn't count. <laughs> they were so good. You didn't tell him that? No, I told him. But and he, he was, was like, still Bang. chastising you? No, he wasn't chastising. That he was is just. Gross. I don't know that he's ever seen me eat dessert like that. <laughs> I was just like housing these This cookies. poor guy. <laughs> Mary, I've never seen you open your mouth that wide before. <laughs> <laughs> You, know, you could swallow so quickly. Oh, I'm my sick. gosh. Oh, I wish I was shooting out uh, oatmeal raisin batter. <laughs> Stephen Canton points out Mary should respect the fireworks guy because it's a gamble if something goes horribly wrong. Like I said, there you go. spend your Except money Except she's taking herself off of that whole Two months today. Thing. Hey. Two months bet free. But who's counting, right? Even it's that's fine. gambling. Stop counting days. <laughs> <laughs> counting cards, counting days. Uh, yeah. No mention of an Oreo. I think we we're talking mm-hmm. about like made like cookies. Homemade yeah. cookies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said Samoa, but that's not in the same realm yeah, as a homemade put that cookie. As the same mm-hmm. thing. I do like Four like a. Different. You guys don't like white chocolate, but like a white chocolate macadamia. Well, it's not chocolate. Doesn't matter. The oh. white chocolate macadamia nut. That's oh. a really good one too. What's the one that's like half? It's like a sugar cookie, but half of it is kind of brown, and the other half is cookie flake. Uh, Snickerdoodle. No. That's like a cinnamon flavor. I know what that is. It's it's like. It's like two colors. One's like a cinnamony color, and the other side is just cookie color. I don't know. But I, I see those a lot, is. too. Yeah. And it's not a snickerdoodle? <laughs> no, it's not a snickerdoodle, because I know what those are. If I take a bite of something, I would know What's it's it a taste like? What's the multicolored cookie taste like? Maybe cinnamon and cookie? I don't know. And you're sure? Uh, is it like a gingerbread, maybe? Uh, uh, ginger snap? No, not a ginger snap. I kind of remember. It's like pretty dark, the other part of the cookie. Mm. Is it just like a vanilla chocolate? Nah, I don't know what it is. I, I just I saw them. We had a we were at a friend's cookout over the weekend, and they had a whole array of cookies. And of course, I went for the I went for chocolate chip. And but I saw these other ones. I'm like, I've seen those before. Mm-hmm. I just don't know what they are. Dude, the Pillsbury like 
really cheap sugar cookies that just have like the whatever season on them, like a turkey or a Christmas tree. You cut them off you the roll them, or they and come cook pre-cut. Them? Those yeah. I'll mess up too. Man, oh, I like I sugar those. cookies. All right. Well, they're made to be to hit those parts of your brain, right? They do. Like a chip and coke. They hit that brain, mm-hmm. that pleasure center. Worth it. And now you got to stay away from them. I know. So does Pound Cake. All this talk. Yeah. When he comes back from Vegas and his bet is underway. Ooh, man. I'm not worried because I know I'm going to do it. I know you will, too. I am. Okay. You can't tempt this guy with a pecan sandy or, <laughs> or <laughs> anything. <laughs> No, no, I have you're old. Old. Yeah, do you, do you want the first cookie? cookie? <laughs> a Lorna Dune. I saw somebody eat a Lorna Dune. I go, I love Jesus Lorna Christ, Dune. they still make they make Lorna Dunes it's, still? Who's eating those? Uh, those are the shortbread cookies. Wow. Lorna no, good. those are like dry and you talk about crumbly. Those are meant to be dipped in tea. Yes, that's why. Yeah. That's like a shortbread yeah. cookie. Yeah. yeah. I, I'll but eat I just didn't tea. know that they were it's still good. making them. I'm like, yeah. people are buying these? The ones in the yeah. tin? Lord of Dunes out there. They're in a box. What's the other one, though, that's like uh super old timey cookie like the like wafer? Any of those no. that come in a tin with the little dollop of Anilla. mystery jelly? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, why is this yeah. jelly hard? Those cookies? Man, those are always terrible. Nilla wafers? Is it Klotchki? That's a cookie. Those are really good. No, I know those. Those um, are delicious. Nilla wafers. There mm. you go. They're like, what flavor are they? Nilla. <laughs> Vanilla? Nope. Nope. Just Nilla. Just Nilla. What, do you want to get sued? <laughs> He's got the shinning. <laughs> These are just Nilla wafers. Uh, but yeah, Samoas, and uh, those are all... Uh, those are all delicious. Some people put their stockings on the mantle, and some put... That's not what I want. That's my <laughs> signal to go to a break. And uh, if you want to text 35192, I'll have another $1,000 for you at 3.30. Chance to go fuel yourself. And coming back here, Sansbury's talking about it. A good band called Dirty Honey is coming to do the House of Blues in September. If you want to check them out, I'll have a couple of tickets for you coming back. The Stale and Cox Show. Everywhere on our free 